Good afternoon. Welcome to the Fulcrum. I'm out for a bit of a ride before dinner. Drum up a bit of an appetite. This trail here was an old uh, spur line that came off the main track that went over to an industrial uh, region here in town. It's long since grown over. The only trace of the fact that it was once a rail line was the, the gravel that shows up through the mud occasionally. So you can take a little ride up through here and around uh, Beaver Pond back in through here. Great spot. Well, if you happen to uh, like the little videos, a little bit of political commentary and physical activity, the odd time a cup of coffee on the trail, like and subscribe. You can see here uh, traces of the old rail line, all the gravel that used to be between uh, the ties the side of the rails. See where it stretches off into the distance there. This area has gone back to nature. In fact, uh, when the old ponds down here is all now growing up with trees around the edge. Beavers moved in a number of years ago. Nature takes everything back. This is, was once listed one of the most toxic places in Belleville, well actually in Ontario. Nature cleaning it up. We'll be back further in and uh, have to look at, uh, see what the beavers are up to. Well, here's the beaver lodge. Used to be two of them, one on the opposite shore, but uh, appears to be abandoned. This one's still active. It's hard to see there, but on the water there's twigs and branches and everything just under the water that acts as their pantry. They just swim out there and, and grab some twigs and branches with the bark on it and drag it in have a feed. Nice little pond here. Get all kinds of wildlife back in here through the summer. Giant bullfrogs, leopard frogs, snapping turtles, mud turtles, swans, egrets, and of course Canadian geese. I come back through here most mornings, go for a bike ride first thing. Head home for coffee, breakfast. You see, actually, just behind the pond on this little peninsula is the uh, Bay of Quinney. Almost like a wide river that uh, meanders along the shore here that eventually dumps into Lake Ontario. Great fishing. Part of this property where the original plant used to be is going to be developed but apparently this area here is being designated or is designated wetland and won't be. They still have test wells on the property here to determine just how toxic the ground is underneath. Actually, cycling was one of my uh, first ways to get back in the swing of things. One of the uh, ducks I had to get in line was the physical one. And at the time, uh, newly divorced, half the money, all the bills. I couldn't even afford to uh, join a health club. But what I did have, I had an old bike. And I used to get out on that thing every morning, ride about 15 kilometers. Before I started the day in order to burn off all the stress I was going through. I still do it now, not really means of exercise, but because I love it. All kinds of trails in the area, you can get out by yourself, sometimes ride for hours and see nobody. I highly recommend it. For the first bike I bought, I think I paid $40 for it. It was at a Goodwill type store. Somebody restored the whole thing and was ready to roll. And I still have it. I ride it mainly on road courses and road racing. This bike I picked up uh, last fall. Here in town we have a uh, put by the curb day where anything you want to get rid of you put by the curb. People come and pick it up. I was riding by my road bike and a fellow had a uh, barbecue smoker which I was trying to figure out how I could get on the back of my bike and take it home. And he popped out and said, oh, you like bikes? I said, oh, yeah, I love bikes. And so I got a mountain bike. 
And he went on to tell me that uh, shortly before his divorce, uh, they tried to rekindle things where him and his wife went out and bought matching mountain bikes. And this one, apparently she never rode. Whatever they'd hoped to rekindle didn't happen, sadly. But so I basically got a, a brand new bike. So deals abound everywhere. It's sad that it has to be from someone's misfortune, but uh, from talking with a fellow later on, he appears to be a happy camper. So for him, it worked out well. well here we are at the end of the trail. A bit breezy out here, but a 20-25 kilometer an hour wind blowing up right on the Bay of Quinney. Beautiful spot. I often come out here first thing in the morning, bring a thermos of coffee, walk down here a lot with my dog Cyrus Mutley, rescue dog that uh, picked up about eight years ago. Nothing he likes better than to snuffle around being a hound lab shepherd cross, eyes, ears, and nose going 24-7, 100%. You can see here how high the waters come up because of the beavers. So it's right up to the edge of the trail here. Fortunately, people do come through here often don't take their garbage with them, sadly. But this whole section here, there's one of the uh, test wells to test for groundwater pollution. When that dam gets built, this whole area here just floods right over. Well, here's a view on the other side of the pond. You can see the uh, the beaver den over there from the other side. This is the second one. It looks like some animal's been in here and dug in, or maybe trappers have been here. But there really hasn't been any activity in, in uh, this beaver lodge in over a year. The Canadian geese are back in here. So this trail loops around the pond, and cuts back through the bush, and goes back over to uh, a community trail. Literally just a quarter mile from where my house is. Even being close to town, there's not an awful lot of traffic through here. You might get 15, 20 people a day. Now the beavers and I usually get along, except for this spot right here. There used to be a culvert that ran underneath here that would drain this pond back into this end of the marsh that goes into the Bay of Quinney. But the beavers get in here, they plugged up the culvert. The culvert eventually collapsed with rust. So we have a running battle. I come in here about once a week and open that little channel there in their wee dam to let some water drain through because if I don't, the bottom end of the trail there ends up underwater. It's okay if you're on a mountain bike, but you want to walk, there's no way to get through there without uh, hip waders on. So I'll probably come in tomorrow and open that up for an hour or two. The beavers will come in in the evening and plug it all back up. So between the two of us, we're doing flood control. <laughs> Well, that's my little tour around the beaver pond. Hope you enjoyed it. No political stuff today. Some days you just got to get out, breathe deep, think clearly, and forget the madness. None of us know how many days we have. Get out and enjoy every one you do have. Wake up in the morning, be glad that you woke up. Get out and about, breathe deep. Sometimes you don't have to go very far. Paradise can be in your own backyard. This is Mike from the Fulcrum. Have a great day.